Frankie and Laura, let's start at um, the beginning where you've, what you've got at the moment. So what you have is this big long pool and the spaces around the pool are um, really difficult to, to utilise. The lower patch of lawn has now been converted into the fire pit and your current decking is just a really awkward size and it's obviously black and hot and uh, and it's not working for you. In fact, all the different levels are not working for you. So what I've done is I've, I've done about three or four different concepts just to give you some ideas and, and how I'm thinking about these spaces. So this design, in all the designs, what I've done is, is I've, I've shrunk the pool. I've shrunk the pool in order to be able to achieve uh, a bigger space up, up the top and a little bit of space at the end of the pool. Um, this inter intermediate space um, stepping down onto the paving like so and I've kept the, the lower lawn levels. And there are pros and cons to all of these designs and I just want to run you through some of the merits of each. So, first of all, let's increase your upstairs entertaining space. I want to extend this out. It's now 5.6 metres out from the rendered wall. I want to put a roof over it, whether it's timber lined or, or a white ceiling. Uh, these can be things that we could just talk about. You can fit in this space a dining, a dining table and a lounge area. I've got an outdoor kitchen, I've also got a built-in fireplace and importantly at the far end of it I want to put a wall where we can screen off and give you some privacy from um, looking straight across into the neighbours uh, living areas. Skylights in the ceiling there, um, uh, obviously for um, being able to, to lighten the space up. The views down onto the pool and to the and to the intermediate space next to the pool, and then you can see I've given you this this um, shaded sheltered a, sh a, sh a shade structure at the end of the pool. Looking next to the fireplace here, I've got a hearth, I've got a um, a, a swiveling uh, television. We can do lots of different things, so don't necessarily have to take it all um, literally at the moment. I want to bring these flight of stairs down around behind this wall, a couple of pavers down onto this lawn area. Now, I've got the carport gated off at this point. So this is your existing grass height. Then what I'm going to do is a couple of steps down onto a much bigger paved area and then give you this structure that, that, provides, um, that provides shade. In doing all of this, obviously the pool is now much shorter in length than it was. And it's also going to be um, not quite as wide because we're building the new pool shell inside the old pool shell. These structures go uh, as close to that brick wall, the boundary wall as possible, as close as possible um, uh, up to the 1.8 meter easement there. So new paving around the pool, um, the pool fence is really just the existing pool fence and this lower area, it's good that the kids can get there um, and, 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 uh, and be able to access that, but it disconnects from the pool space itself. So you can see the upstairs is now looking down onto the pool area. The pool area is, is the pool itself has become a, a plunge pool. And then I've given you a space uh, underneath this, this roof structure and, and a big um, spanning beam. Really nice timber work, great lighting. So throughout here, I, I want to really focus on, on getting some good lighting in. The ability to, to bring out some uh, sun lounge furniture and put them out in the sun or slide them across in, into the shade depending on the time of day. Don't pay too much attention to the plants that I've got in these designs. They're really just to fill in garden beds and demonstrate um, the, at the garden beds. I want to get espalier plants up against that, that brick wall. And you'll see I've got some seats and some cushions and, and various things like that throughout these designs. The second concept is very similar to the first, but this time I have lifted up where your existing fireplace is in that, in that back right hand corner. I've brought this up to be one level and then changed the direction of the pool fence. So we come around this wall, across a lawn, there's a timber seat next to the pool, step down into this um, shaded area. The retaining walls uh, continue around there. This particular pool of uh, I've kept the length of the pool so that we could, I can show you a spa if you guys want to think about a spa. I've put in um, steps, a swim out bench, a little shallow area at the end of the pool. And 
what I've done is I've turned all of this this space uh, onto onto one usable area. So in that corner where the fire pit is, um, I've I've brought that up. I've kind of put the existing seat back in the corner, but it's now raised instead of being up against the sleepers. Uh, here I've got a big long timber bench just for being able to hang out. You can put some cushions along there. It has a back to it. Um, and this is looking down from the house. It's a black colour scheme here, so the, as opposed to the first one, the, the framing in this design is, is, um, is a monument colour. And I put the fire pit back in the corner uh, as just another go-to kind of area. I have already given you a fireplace up, upstairs, but this is just a, another, another way to think about these things. You don't have to have both, we can, uh, we can redesign. So this one here with the spa doesn't give you the, the room um, uh, for the sun lounges like I had in the previous design, but you do um, share all of this this level as being one level, which I think works really, really well. So the pool, the lawn, the the seating area underneath that, that roof structure there works really well. Whether you want the spa or not, or a bigger pool, um, we can do that. And then I've got that little zone of, of lawn uh, as the, as the uh, intermediate area as you come down to the pool space. This one, uh, I got rid of the lawn up there. I've got steps coming around uh, onto, this, onto the flat zone and I've put a fire pit over there, a circular fire pit. So the lawn area is now level inside the pool fenced area. The, the, there's a gate um, off your current stairs into the pool area. So this all just functions really nicely as one big level area without fencing, without um, height levels. Spa obviously spills into the pool, and um, and this one, as opposed to the previous one, has a lot more paved space uh, over this side of the pool, with the view that it was going to be just a big seating area. It doesn't it doesn't always have to be a, a fire pit. What I'd like to see is a fire pit that you can put a, a lid on. I'm not the one that you've got at the moment. I'd like to see go much lower to the ground, um, per se. And, and something that we can put a, a tabletop over just so that it can be a, you know, a more functional space. The black colour scheme, you'll see the timber ceiling in this roof. There's a white plaster ceiling in the roof that's next to the, um, uh, to the house there. There is a big pane of glass which I'll talk to you about. Um, I just want to give that corner a bit of protection where the barbecue is upstairs or where the fire, fire pit is upstairs. Looking out, what I really want to make sure that we do achieve is um, block the view out directly across into the other, um, into the neighbor's house and um, really focus our view down onto the pool. This one here, a white ceiling, I've got a large outdoor kitchen. So the, I've got a sink in here, there's a barbecue. We can do anything you like in, in here, there's, there's, there's tons of room. On the far side in front of that stone wall, I've got the TV. Um, I got rid of the fireplace and I put a, put a bar in there. So plenty of space for dining, plenty of space for lounging. You've got the TV, we can put in, into the ceiling lights, heating, fans, uh, all sorts of things. And really the, the main focus is, is obviously going to be down onto that pool area. The circular seating, well that was really just um, moving away from, from straight lines, just coming up with a bit of a softening, a softening effect. It's actually stonework um, with a little bit of uh, timber, timber seating. And of course I would expect you to, to, to put some uh, cushions around it just for comfort. Access is obviously down the steps and around the backside of this of this uh, of this wall. Now I can extend this wall further out, and I want to talk to you about where you would like to see the, the width of this wall go to. Obviously, we need to get to the to the carport, a couple of steps, and, a couple, and there's two gates there. Um, but I wouldn't mind extending this wall out and maybe pushing the steps further out. Now. In this particular design, you can see where the fire pit is in that circular area. Um, there's a lot of paving in this one. So the next concept I did of this was just to throw lawn in there. So I took the bluestone paving out and I threw lawn in there. Now, all of that poolside area that you're looking at, so the seating, the circular lawn, the, the, the shaded seating space at the end of the pool, everything's operating on the one level. And I think this works really, really well. 
and uh, and makes a good go to go to space. Obviously, uh, you want to be able to use this this upstairs area all year round. So um, we can put in blinds if you want to put in some blinds. But the idea that we can heat it and warm it up with uh, with overhead heaters, I think, would be a good idea. Good idea. And there's a little bar and um, and sink in the back corner there as well. So here's a couple of ideas for you guys to think about and. Um, uh, I think, and from here what we do is we have another meeting, we go live on a Zoom meeting and, um, and we just share ideas and, and go over the, over the concepts and uh, find a, a certain direction. So let me know what you think and, uh, and we'll go from there.